Sunrise, collaboration between Higher Grounds and Earthwork Music. I live here in Detroit, Michigan, and I'm going to show you a little bit about my morning ritual. And it starts with coffee. This might be kind of boring, but you got to go through it with me. This ritual is very important. I like to hand grind my beans in the bird and a nice little challenge uh, to work towards to get that first morning cup. Uh, water's a boiling. Tuning in. So we've got our little old-fashioned candle warmer here, little thrift store kettle, carafe, smoke, little glow. I don't normally talk too much, but we're going to keep rolling on the process and then we'll dive into a little bit more of the grounding ritual of the morning. But I think I should show you, we got to get up close for this. The bloom here. Smell the fresh. That's the best smelling <laughs> part of the whole day, right there, is the bloom on the V60. Yeah, this is a very important ritualistic process for me. Every morning, I make one of these pots, it's about three cups of coffee. Gets me started on the day. Some of you might be asking, where did you find a kettle contraption that has a fantastic candle like this? Um, and the answer is that I do a lot of thrift shopping. Fortunately, that's changed now. Uh, but yeah, I thrifted it. And if you're attention and go to thrift stores and you're looking for it, you can find these carafes usually for around five bucks. And the, uh, the V60 fits right inside of it. Most V60s, you can actually take the um, little handle that the cone sets in off, and then it will sit perfectly in the top of your carafe. So, oh, little hack from Traverse City friend Kent taught me that one. He taught me how to pop the V60 out of its holder put it directly into the carafe. So I, I did have a prop to show you all. This is one of my favorite snacks. This is Chana Mix. Um, one of my best friends, Brennan Words Roth, taught me about Chana Mix. Uh, but this is a snack that's widely available here in the grocery stores of Hamtramck in Detroit. It's also an awesome gluten-free snack because it's made with chicken flour and lentil flour. Uh, there's peanuts. It's typically spicy. Um, so, yeah, this is some rad stuff for all of you gluten-free folks out there who need a healthy snack. It's got a good boost of protein. Um, a lot of spices. It's fun. Hard to find, though. you got to find the right store, but I'm sure if you type in Chana or Chana Mix, Online, you could find some of this stuff. 
Okay, so we're almost done here, and then uh, what I'm going to do is take you all on a little garden tour with me, which is typically what I do first thing after I have uh, my coffee ready. I'll go out and check out the garden, see what's new, smell things, pick some weeds. But yeah, this is my house in Detroit. I've been living here uh, on the and, uh, it's kind of turning into a little artist residency of sorts. And that's been a really cool development here. I've been doing a lot of music recording and music production here. And so now we're about done here. I'm gonna compost the beans. Always composting. Reducing my trash. A little lid here helps keep some of the heat in. And here we go. Drink out of Beth this morning. This was uh, Elizabeth Pixley Fink's cup when she was the resident artist here. Okay, so we're going to go outside now. And I'm going to give you a little tour of the garden. Okay, so this is kind of the tomato and herbs over here. This is cool. I'm scoping some new fungi in here this morning. Pepper plants. Less gl glamorous, but some potatoes growing here. And then I've got some hemp CBD, and below that, some basil. And we got some collards and kale. More potato balance to allow what naturally wants to be here, and uh, to honor that, and um, then be really intentional about the other things that I a really special thing and I did a little bit of reading about what milkweed symbolizes and um, if I remember correctly it was about kind of home safety security in Detroit so that's been that's been cool and it's been magical to watch this plant the milkweed in particular grow uh, the milky seeds everywhere and to watch the plant grow from scratch it's I had this interesting thought of like the irony of needing to come to Michigan's largest city to find this intimate connection to one of our state's native plant species so that's the garden tour let's go back inside for a little bit of music So this is my bedroom office. This is where I work. I've got my monitor speakers and my laptop there. Overdubbing in this room. And I've also been practicing recently here um, with my guitar and harp. So I'm going to play for you guys uh, some music that I've been working on and um, just trying to create really healing space with the music that I'm making. Um, so apologies in advance for the lighting of that window behind me making everything dark. But um, yeah, let's get started.
want to say thanks for watching, everybody. Please enjoy the rest of your week. Keep it chill. Keep the love in your hearts. And let's all keep making this world a better place together in the best ways that we know how. Okay, peace out, everybody. Happy Earthrise.